Surprisingly, the first three episodes of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reboot, Bel-Air, is actually really, really great. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing the first three episodes of the Bel Air reboot which is based on the incredibly popular Fresh Prince of Bel Air sitcom series except this time it's had an absolutely dramatic reimagining which was initially starting as a trailer concept that was uploaded by Morgan Cooper which caught the eye of Will Smith and since then it's become a full-blown series which was initially pitched out to quite a few distributors, so HBO Max, Netflix and Peacock were the ones that won it. And after you get over the initial frustration of the fact that this series is even being rebooted, it's actually really, really awesome and really, really powerful as well. And I'm going to be breaking the first three episodes of Bel Air for you right now. So the storyline of this series starts off exactly as you would expect it. So the Will Smith character is having a lot of trouble in his neighborhood in Philly, yet he is a really promising student and he has a really, really bright future ahead of him. However, this gets snatched away from him when he gets into a bit of a serious situation. And like I said, this lens of this show is all about a bit more of a grittier take on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air mythology, so you can really understand why his mum gets really, really scared about the potential of him not even surviving, so sends him to live with his auntie and uncle in Bel Air, and this is really where they really focus on the fish out of water aspects of this storyline as you can really see the impact of somebody who is from a completely different world being plucked out and entering into this really glamorous world of Bel Air and you really do get to see all of the difficulty of the Will Smith character readjusting to this brand new life but not only that they also really really focus on the people that are existing and already living in this really glamorous Bel Air lifestyle and having this new person who is from a completely opposite lifestyle interacting within their world and the difficulty of them readjusting to this as well which I feel like is done really really well and like I said obviously this show has a brand new rebooted lens to it so it really does focus on all of the serious issues that all of the different characters are dealing with which is really really great. So from a positive point of view I feel like the whole concept of this show really actually does lend itself really really well to this more serious take and you really can explore and focus on all of the crazy storylines that all of these different characters are going through and on that point even though some of the characters are a little bit superficial you can really understand and somewhat relate to all of the different narratives and the perspectives that all of the different characters have and you really can sympathize and empathize with them as a result of it and therefore you're really connected with the storyline of this show however from a negative point of view i guess the thing that really made the original series so beloved is the more comedic aspect and i guess they could have lent into that a little bit more i mean there are a couple of humorous moments in this series but like i said nowhere near as much as it is in the original series but that being said you know riverdale really benefited from having a completely different style transformation in terms of having a much darker take on its source material mythology and i do feel like bella has the potential to have a very similar successful road ahead of it if the first three episodes are anything to go by as from a storyline point of view they are actually really really great so from a cast and characters point of view even though they do take a little while to get used to they're actually really really great new interpretations of these characters so let's go through them one by one so first up we have jabari banks who's playing will smith and I feel like he is able to channel the true Will Smith's attributes in this TV series really, really well. I mean, he's got so many strong values and really does love his hometown of Philadelphia. And you really can see that coming through. And the impact that other characters have in terms of receiving this is really, really interesting. For example, some characters in Bel Air absolutely love the fact that this guy is really, really embracing where he's from. Whereas other characters find this a little bit intimidating and really want to squash this aspect of the Will Smith character and obviously he has got a little bit of a troubled past and you do see that continuing to haunt him across the first three episodes and I'm sure that this will also continue to happen across the series and I also absolutely love the fact that he's just trying to be so real in Bel Air whereas some characters find this really really intimidating and even though his heart is definitely in the right place for the majority of the situations that he's in they always do remind you that he is a little bit of a kid and has got a lot to learn and I absolutely love all of the swagger that this actor is able to bring into the Will Smith performance which like I said really does embody the original Will Smith as well and obviously this character is in some really difficult situations in Bel Air as well especially with Carlton and the Connor character really causing him a lot of chaos 
especially with all the drugs and all of the false allegations and you really can see that the way in which this character is maneuvering all of it and really making it backfire on those other characters is absolutely incredible. Speaking of Carlton, next up we have Ollie Shalotten and I absolutely love the performance of the Carlton character. First of all, a very different type of character to what you remember in the original Fresh Prince of Bel-Air series. No more dancing, no more of a comic relief character. He is a little bit goofy, I guess you could say, but he really is a very different character. And I absolutely love the immediate rivalry that they set up with Carlton against, well, pretty much from the second that these two characters lay eyes on each other, you can immediately tell that this is going to be a rivalry that is going to continue for season after season after season. And especially in the first three episodes, it is such a heated rivalry and you really can feel all of the anger and all of the frustration and all of the bitter rivalry coming from the Carlton character against the Will Smith character, especially at the end of the third episode, you just know that this is going to absolutely explode in the next couple of episodes, especially as the Carlton character is used to owning the school and really running the school in his particular style. And now he's got this new kid coming in. And obviously because of that, he feels really, really territorial. And because it seems like Will Smith is just walking all over this character, you can just really feel all of the bitter rage coming from this character. And like I said, you just know that this is going to absolutely explode in the next couple of episodes and even in the first three episodes you can really see that the Carlton character really can't take it. Next up we have Cassandra Freeman who was absolutely excellent as the Aunt Viv character. You really can tell that she has an absolute heart of gold as she really is so caring of all of her kids as well as the Will Smith character and you can tell as well the conflict that this character was having especially in the first episode where she didn't know if she wanted to keep the Will Smith character under her roof but then he really was able to win her over. And I absolutely love all of the particular advice that she is giving all of her kids to really help them. And I feel like this character really is the bedrock and the glue keeping everyone together in this family and really helping everyone through all of their problems. We're also introduced to the youngest sibling, the Ashley character, who really is into helping solving global issues, but you just don't see that much of this character in the first three episodes. Next up, we have Coco Jones, who was absolutely awesome as the Hillary Banks character, a very different type of Hillary to the original series as well. This time she is a bit of an influencer and you get to see the difficulties of influencer life even though this character has access to loads of wealth and does have a really clear head on her shoulders in terms of the success that she ultimately wants to achieve but despite that it really does show that being an influencer really isn't as easy as it seems and also this character is learning a good lesson in terms of the balance of having your own views and your own particular brand and how this can be in conflict sometimes when you want to go into particular brand deals and brand partnerships and the way in which you have to navigate through all of this. Next up we have Adrian Holmes who is playing the Uncle Phil character. Really, really great. This time he is running for district attorney. And very similarly to the original sitcom, you can see some conflict happening between Will Smith and when the Uncle Phil character However, what I absolutely loved is the fact that they were showing that the Will Smith character is able to help the Uncle Phil character and really help the people around Uncle Phil by really embracing and really helping the Uncle Phil character remember his roots, which I feel like was really, really great. We also have Jeffrey returning in this series as well. This time he's been rebranded into a bit of a house manager and is really, really supportive of all of the other characters. I absolutely love Jazz in this series. Once again, this character is really the comic relief. And I already can't wait for the Uncle Phil character to throw out the Jazz character like he so brilliantly and hilariously used to do in the original series. And finally, we also have Lisa, a character that was introduced quite later on in the original series. And this time she is introduced from episode one and really is a bit of a love rival between Will Smith and with Carlton. And again, is really creating so much tension between all of these different characters. So from a Carlton character's point of view, even though quite a few of them are very different to how you may remember them, I actually think the new interpretations are really, really great for this new series. So the visuals in Bel Air are actually really, really great. Of course, this is very, very different style and setup to what you remember in The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, as this time it is a lot more serious based, and they immediately capture you into the particular worlds really, really well. For example, they really do show the difference of the initial rough neighborhood in Philadelphia that Will Smith was originally from and how this is in complete contrast to the very glitzy and more glamorous lifestyle 
in the Bel Air neighborhood and all of the amazing parties that all of the rich and wealthy people in Bel Air are always throwing. And you really can see and feel all of the culture shock moments as well, mainly through the Will Smith character in terms of experiencing this brand new world and all of the high school elements. I feel like they really do focus on the high school world, especially like I said, between the rivalry of Will and with Carlton as well, especially in the final third episode, especially where Hillary, Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil were deciding to stay a lot longer to watch Will Smith succeed in the basketball arena instead of watching Carlton in lacrosse. And I absolutely love, like I said before, just the rage and the emotion that Carlton was feeling on the pitch when he knew that everyone was in the basketball court watching Will. And then when he went into the basketball court, just the rage you could just feel in his face, inside his body, I just thought incredibly active. So from a visuals point of view, not only is it really, really gritty and really, really believable, I feel like it looks really, really great as well. So from a comparison point of view, as far as the first three episodes are concerned, as brilliant as they are, I obviously definitely still prefer the 90s brilliant sitcom series, which was just instantly iconic. I do think it's a little bit unfair to compare the two as they are so drastically different. I would also compare it to other shows, for example, 90210 and The OC, especially in terms of a bit of an outsider character, for example, Ryan Atwood, entering this really rich and glamorous space and just seeing how he's going to readjust to it, ruffling a lot of feathers and really focusing on that fish out of water storyline and the impact that this has on loads of other characters. Like I keep saying, it's definitely got a bit of a serious and more gritty lens to it, as it really does focus on all of these different experiences. In terms of comparing it to other reboots, I don't think it's as strong either as the Save by the Bella reboot, which I think is absolutely amazing. But that being said, I feel like Bella is really, really successful in really treading its own path and creating a new identity for itself. And I'm really, really intrigued to see what's going to happen next. So overall, with the Bel Air series, even though we've only had three episodes so far, I feel like they've covered so much ground within those first three episodes. And so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. I absolutely love all of the little throwbacks that they're doing to the original series. For example, in the first episode, when Aunt Viv and Will Smith are first talking to each other, and the Will Smith character is referencing the lyrics using the original series, I thought that was a really, really nice touch. I absolutely love the more serious tone that this series has, like I said, conceptually, I feel like it lends itself so well to that and they're really, really embracing it. I also absolutely love the impact that it has when somebody becomes really, really rich and the different ways in which people are treating them and likewise, the way in which they treat other people as well. I feel like that's really, really fascinating. And like I said before as well, I feel like the past is definitely going to haunt a lot of these characters, in particular, the Will Smith character in terms of all of the gun violence that was happening in Philadelphia. So I feel like the future of this series is really, really bright and has so much potential that I cannot wait for them to explore. And so for all of those reasons, as far as the first three episodes are concerned, I'm going to give it a solid seven out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of it. So please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.